Hi, this is Mr. Dring from Fulford School. This video is designed for Year 10 computer science students to help you make the most of your working from home resources so that you can stay up to date with revision and also learn the new content while schools are closed at the moment. So on class charts, we'll send out a new homework challenge so you can find out um, the instructions. But on class charts each week, you're going to get very similar instructions. It will just have a link to the VLE page and you're going to need your normal school username and password to log in. If you forget your school username and password, just get in touch with the school and we'll get them reset for you. So, um, whilst the instructions on class charts will be the same each week, on the VLE, the top section's now working from home. You'll see a new project um, appear each week. So, for each um, project each week, we'll try and vary the type of activities that are on here. Sometimes you'll have a Seneca activity, a Seneca um, assignment to work through. Once you've completed it, tick it off here, but please do um, make notes as you're going through. Make notes in your exercise book or in flashcards, whatever you find helpful. Some of the challenges are really quick and simple, like some of the keyword activities. Um, the idea is that we want you to just get more familiar with some of the key concepts. So understand what the algorithm does. Um, that means that you need to interpret an algorithm, so and then eliminate I can't say it. Eliminate means get rid of all of the keywords that don't match the definition. When you finish an activity, take a screenshot of it to prove that you've done it. Tick it off on here so that we can see um, each activity that you've done. Your parents can see what you've been doing all the time in front of a computer and you can see what activities you've done at home. If you do take screenshots of the work that you want to celebrate um, and remember for the future, there's a space where you can submit that evidence um, so just press add submission, upload any files, any pictures of work that you create so that you'll be able to access it later and we'll be able to see it when you come back to school. Okay, um, so the one I want to highlight to you is how to use the personalised target and revision summary to make notes. Um, so remember at the start of each topic we get you to rate your confidence uh, on each learning objective um, and at the end of each topic we ask you to do the same. Um, so this personalised revision summary will tell you your test scores in each topic and how confident you said that you were. So for me, I haven't been doing this, I've been teaching rather than rating my confidence. Um, but I'd like you to use the summary on here to choose which area you think you most need to focus on, or you can base it on your test scores. I'm going to choose for today to work on networks. You can see my confidence ratings that I put in on here. Maybe I'm going to go for this one. I said I was quite low in confident here. Um, so 5.1.6, talking about um, protocols, TCP, IP. So the idea is we'd like you to rate your confidence um, and then importantly, just click on the question mark so that it takes you to the relevant page in the revision guide. Um, and then make notes, turn these into flashcards, turn these into a mind map, make some keywords and definitions. Remember, if you're not sure of a word, control F to find and then search for it in the revision guide and you can find the relevant section. So the, the words in boxes are usually definitions that you need to know for the exams. Once you've done that revision, you've made your notes, update your confidence if it's gone up a little bit. There's space to make notes on here, but I'd recommend you do it on paper. It's easier to revise from in the future. Um, and then just make sure that you tick off each task on here so that uh, we can track your progress and see how you're getting on. Your number one priority is to make sure that if you're ill, you focus on getting better. If somebody else in your household is ill, you focus on encouraging them, supporting them and, and making them feel better too. But work through as many of these challenges as you're able to do. Um, we want you to try and stay up to date with the homework booklet and if you've forgotten that or if you've lost that, um, there's a link to the homework challenges so you can read a page and then there's the pages to fill in as well. So make the most of this time to revise, make the most of this time um, to read around the subject. Um, all the very best, and we look forward to seeing you when you come back. Thank you.